Hello people, if you want to know what this 65 euro hand forged Hilta Force can do, keep watching. Hello YouTube, this is Dutch Bushka of Knives and today we're not talking about knives, but we're talking about this beautiful hand forged axe from Sweden. And no, it's not a Wetterlings, it's not a Grand Falls, well, this is a Hulterforce, the Hultsbrug. They've been making axes for over 300 years, I really didn't know. And um, I found this at knivesandtools.com for a very fair price. So I want to see uh, what this knife or what this axe is all about. And it comes with this nice protection. And look at this, the beautiful hand forged axe. And they have over 300 years of workmanship in making steel. So, really looking forward to test this uh, axe. What we're going to do today is we're going to split some wood. Uh, we're going to fell some uh, small trees. And I'm going to um, switch my knife for this axe. The ultimate classic old school survival tool. And see if we can make a fire, prep some food. And make a meal out of it just using this axe. Bring the thunder. Alright people. I have some very large uh, logs, uh, larger than you would usually um, use this axe for, I believe. But um, I just want to see if this axe can do it. Because if this axe can do this, it can do it all. Alright, let's go. Absolutely no problems, people, with this with these bigger pieces of logs. So yeah, I'm excited to do some uh, real bushcrafting with this axe. Let's get it on. All right, people. So what I'm going to do is uh, tonight we're going to eat some stew, and I'm going to make a fire for that. I'm going to prepare the food with the axe. I'm going to make the fire with the axe. Going to collect the wood with the axe. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch all the regular bushcrafting survival gear like my knife for this axe and switch the saw for this axe so we're going back to the old school days and just use the axe for making everything so let's do this so a small spruce like this will do a great job with providing firewood enough to cook on for quite a while so let's cut this tree down And I'm actually going to keep the small branches because these are excellent fire starters. Uh, they're very dry and burn very easily. So I'm going to keep those. I found some of these small burls on this spruce tree and I'm going to cut these off because uh, they have a lot of resin in it so they should make a very good um, burning material to keep burning for a pretty long time, pretty hot. And while these knots may appear kind of big, the wounds are pretty small so the tree can heal easily from this. So as you can see, the small axe is perfectly capable of chopping down or felling a small tree. No problem. Op 
Ich mach's mal And because these logs don't have straight ends and beginnings, you cannot really put them up to split them. So this sideways splitting is a very handy technique to cut these logs in two. And you can uh, find these natural cracks and use them to, uh, to your advantage. So as you can see, this X is also a very capable and very controlled feather sticker. Very nice. All right, so we've got some shavings, some small wood, and some of these burls, which you could actually make pretty good tar out of, I think. But we're going to use it to um, make this fire hotter and uh, burn longer. If you would absolutely need to, you could use the edge of the X to spark your fire steel with. But I'm just, not, I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to use my um, fire steel, my homemade fire steel. All right, now it's time to see how it performs in the finer tasks. All right, so let's uh, peel this carrot. The eggplant. Paprika. Too easy. All right, now for the toughest part of the cutting test, the tomato. So, look at that. Look at how thin those slices of these tomato are. And that is after all that cutting of the wood. So it's still very, very sharp. Now this is the most important part, the chicken. Alright people with a nice filter chew on the fire, it's time to give a little conclusion about this Hulta Force Felling Axe Classic. So it comes with this nice protection which I uh, made a little modification on to, put, to make it easier to pull off and put on. And on the shaft itself I put a little piece of leather to protect it from, um, yeah, from missing the wood so it doesn't damage the shaft itself. So overall I'm pretty impressed with this, uh, with this axe because you have to take into account that this X only cost you about 65 euros, so it's a really, really cheap X, especially for a hand forged X like this. And um, 
yeah it's gorgeous to look at it's a very nice looking axe and they saved a lot of weight by putting a smaller head on the axe and together with this longer shaft it makes a very versatile axe um, it's very very easy to handle because of the weight um, because of the shaft it comp the, the long shaft compensates a little bit for the smaller head um, you can put a lot of force with it, a lot of power a lot of swing into this axe so you can actually split wood pretty decent uh, cut down small trees um, of course you wouldn't you would never use an axe like this to cut down very very big trees and I think that's where this axe shines it's just a very very nice all-rounder very easy to handle if you put your hand uh, under the head like this very fine cutter uh, the steel is really easy to strop to sharpen and it's still very sharp it's a pretty soft steel not too soft to chop with of course but uh, very easy to to keep and get sharp again the hand forged uh, head makes it a very very good looker and yeah, just this is just a very very all-round X just perfect to carry with you on your Norgon survival bushcraft trips this was kind of an experiment not using anything else than this X I would personally not suggest only taking an axe with you and uh, leaving your knife and saw behind because this is a combination tool but yeah as one of the oldest survival tools there is it still works for modern day survival love it let me taste this Very nice. Hope you liked this video. Uh, please like and subscribe for more. That's Bridge of Knives, signing out.